Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. All right, so let's look at a scenario where we have to convert our self signed certificate for Kaspersky web portal to CA signed certificate. And if you see over here, our certificate is issued to local C N, which we don't want because it is a self signed certificate. So in order to convert your Kaspersky Security Center web console to work on CA signed certificate, first of all, you need a certificate and the key file. Certificate you need in CRT format and then key file you need in PEM format. It's a separate topic how to do this. So when you are going to do it, of course, your certification authority people can help you to convert those certificates. So in my case, if you see, I have all these formats available. This is my CRT format. If you can see, I have my key file in PEM format. This is basically key converted into PEM. This is my CER format. But for certificate to be imported in Kaspersky Security Center Web Console, you need CRT and PAM. So once you have these two certificates, you have to go to Kaspersky, uh, Kaspersky Security Center Web Console under uh, Control Panel Program and Features and you should run this change and uninstall. Or you can also make use of um, installation file of Kaspersky Security Center Web Console and do that. So in my case, I'm going over here, going to click on OK and I'll say Modify Connection Settings. I'll click on Next. Again, I'll click on next. If you see over here, this is like address of your web console. Um, I'm going to come to this portal where I'm using a self-signed certificate. I'm going to change this to CA signed certificate for my own certificate and I'll go in, I'm going to go browse and choose those two files which I have talked about. Once I have selected those files, I'll click on next over here. Again, next without changing anything and then modify. So it takes a little time, of course, to run the validation of installation, then convert that into the files which we have uploaded. So it takes like maybe two to three minutes. So we just need to be patient and we need to wait for this to be updated. So what it will do, it will copy the files. It will update the configuration, it will stop the services, then it will start the services after copying the new files. And then once all this process is done, it will ask you to finish the process, uh, basically the wizard. And then after that also, you just need to wait for some time because at the back end, the services are still being uh, loaded, database connections are being made. Um, and then once, all that process is done or what you will have your web console will be ready to be used with the new CA signed certificate. And of course, uh, we are going to wait for this process to complete. Once this is completed, uh, we just need to browse this web portal again and you will see that this not secure sign will be changed to the lock sign. And by the way, just to let you know, this certificate which I have over here, because I'm using the certificate for many other purposes, on the same server I have another application which I would be recording tutorials for. So if you see over here, if I show you the properties of this file, now over here in security, not sorry, actually over there, if I double click on this file, you will see that the certificate is issued to itsm dot just tech dot talk, but in in actual uh, because there is a possibility that you can add other um, uh, things also in subject alternative names. So if you see over here, I have all of them over here in my DNS name app 01 dot just tech dot talk casp dot just tech dot talk app 01 ITSM. So all of these are already added. So I can make use of any of these as long as these are uh, there in my DNS, DNS has the record for these. 
I can make use of any one of them and the certificate which I am importing will be valid with any of these names. So now if you see my process is completed and it is asking me to just finish this wizard. As I said, after even finishing this wizard, just take a few minutes, uh, just wait for it. And once that is done uh, and all your services are started, you will see that your web console is up and running with the new certificate, which is available over here with this log sign. And if you click over here, as stated earlier, itsm.justtech.talk is available. If I look at the address bar, address is stating app01.justtech.talk, which means the certificate is valid for me because it has other alternative names as well. If I click on domain authentication, now I don't need anything else and it will log me into the web console over here. And if you see, now our certificate is imported and we are good to begin. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for. And to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.